Hey, welcome to this button creation tutorial using the Logo Creator by Laughing Bird Software. Let me show you how to create this button. First, you're going to select one of the templates. Let's save this. Uh, the template that I used for the button you just saw was this guy right here. Click it, and we're going to make this big so we can see it. All you have to do is increase the canvas size. We don't need the little robot guy for this tutorial. So we're going to delete them. And the sign, we're going to delete them, hitting the delete key on my keyboard. And we're going to bring the button in the middle. We're going to delete this text here. And we're going to increase the button size a bit. So we're going to go over to the left side and under image format, we're going to scale the button so it's big. And then we're going to bring the text in. And we're also going to scale the text by choosing format and scale text. Instead of enter, we want it to say buy now. So we're going to go to the edit menu, click it, and you'll notice it says enter here. We're going to highlight it and we're going to say buy now. And we're going to hit the implement button. Now it might be a little too big for us, so we want to put by and now on two separate lines. So we're going we're going to put now on the second line and hit implement. And it's all bunched together, no problem. Return to the text menu, format, and we're going to set the line spacing now so that we can see both lines. And set the spacing, text. And now we're going to choose another font. For the example I showed in the beginning, I used this font, Badab. Boom. Set the spacing a little bit. There you go. Now we have to colorize the text. So we're going to go to Color, Gradient, and we're going to set the gradient from a darker orangish yellow to a yellow. And we're going to set the gradient pretty high so it looks more a little cartoony. Now we're going to set an outline. Make it white. Make the outline a little stronger. And now let's put a quick drop shadow on it. On We'll set the drop shadow like that, and we'll set the opacity down a little bit so it's not so strong. Boom, there's our Buy Now button. And if you want to add another small element, let's go to the High Tech Gloss Objects here. We're going to select it in the menu. I have a lot of, of elements here. These are all from every logo pack that I have. You might not see as many of them because maybe you didn't buy the People Pack or you don't have the 3D Character Pack. Um, but the glossy high-tech objects are in the standard logo creator. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to scroll all the way to the end because I know where my elements are, but you can just feel free to look around. And here's my arrow. I'm going to bring it in. Boom. There we go. And that just brings people's eye to your buy now button. And now here's a trick I like to use. I'm going to go into the file menu and I'm going to save it as a transparent PNG image. We'll save it as my buy now button. And let's save it to a folder. You can save it wherever you want. Okay. Before I bring it back into the software, I want to save my logo. So let's go under the save menu again and this time we're going to save the template to the desktop or we're going to save the template to my templates. I'm going to choose my templates and buy now button. So now you're going to have this button whenever you want it. And it's telling me that it's saved to my templates. So now the my templates area you'll notice is on here, here to the left and it is under my templates and here's all the goopy logos I've been practicing with. Here's my buy now button. All I have to do is select it and 
there it is. So now we're going to bring in the button that we had saved earlier, the graphic, and we're going to open or import the, the, the image. It was saved under this folder, and here it is. It, this is a graphic. So under, so let's delete the template behind it. And now we're working with just a graphic. So now I can do anything I want to, and I can scale it, and I can twist it, and boom, there's my cool Buy Now button that I can put onto my web page. And when we save it, let's make it a little bit straighter. Okay, this is about the size that I want. So I'm now going to go in, and I'm going to resave it again as a transparent PNG. Call this smaller by now button, or whatever you want to call it. And then you can just import the graphic onto your web page as you do any graphic. There you go. That's how to create a button in the logo. Creator.